<laughs> Did you not want to start after that? No, I didn't. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. This is episode two in the series Cooking with Jules. And today we're going to be taking our ragu sauce that we made in my previous video and making pasta al forno. If you guys haven't seen the first episode, I suggest you go check that out to learn how to make the sauce. But without further ado, here are the ingredients to get cooking with Jules. So the first thing that we're gonna do is take whatever pot you use to make pasta and bring the water to a boil. I usually put the heat on medium high and then we're gonna add some salt into the water. Next, we are going to weigh our pasta. You guys can use any type of pasta that you want, but usually I use penne or rigatoni. And for this recipe, we're going to be weighing one pound or 450 grams of pasta. Why did I think that was gonna work? Moving on to making the bechamella, you're gonna wanna have your flour, milk, and butter all prepped and ready to go. So the first thing is melting our butter. I have the heat on medium low, and you are gonna wanna make sure the butter is melted completely before adding in any other ingredients. Once the butter is melted, we're gonna go ahead and start adding in our flour. We're gonna do this gradually. And we're gonna start mixing it all together. So once you have finished adding in all your flour, you will start to see that the mixture becomes kind of like a dough. And this is where you're gonna start adding in your milk. And again, it's going to be gradual. You're not gonna add it in all at once. And now you're gonna focus on breaking all of the pieces that the flour and the butter mixture made. The key to making a good bechamella is to continuously mix it, making sure that all of the pieces are broken and melted into the milk. Make sure you're also checking the sides of your pot and scraping off any pieces that may have gotten stuck. You're gonna start to see that the sauce thickens, which is what we want. And now is where we're going to add in a lot of salt. The salt is essentially gonna take away the taste of flour. And once you are done mixing and breaking down all the pieces, the trick is to take a little bit and taste it, and if you don't taste any flour, then you know you've done it right. If the sauce becomes a little bit too dense, you wanna add a little bit more milk, and if it's too liquidy, you can add a little bit more flour. When the bechamella is 
close to being done, you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Once the sauce is finished, it should look a little something like this. By the time your bechamel sauce is done, your pasta should be as well. Remember to cook your pasta al dente. I cooked my penne for about 11 minutes. And the last step now is to put all the ingredients together and form our pasta al forno. So you're gonna wanna take any oven safe dish that you have, I have this one, and spread some butter on the bottom. Next, you're gonna take our ragu sauce that we made, and this recipe calls for two cups, but honestly, if I had a little more, I probably would have added it because I prefer my pasta al forno on the meaty side. We're gonna add in our pasta and mix it all together. We're gonna add in a little bit of our bechamella and mix that. And basically, we're going to repeat this process until we've used up all of our ragu and all of the pasta. We're gonna leave a little bit of bechamella to create the very top layer. A fun fact for you guys about this pasta, the origin actually comes from the method of cooking. Back in the day in Northern Italy, people used wood-burning ovens to cook pizzas, breads, pastas, and to this day, they still use this method to keep the culture and the tradition alive and because they claim it just tastes so much better, which it really does. Okay, so once you have finished using up all of the pasta and all of the ragu sauce, you're gonna take what's left of your bechamella and pour it on top, like so. I use the back of my spoon to try and spread it evenly across the entire dish. And then we're gonna add as much Parmesan cheese as we like. I like a lot of Parmesan cheese if you can't tell. <laughs> Now before we pop it in the oven, you're gonna wanna take a paper towel and wipe off any excess that's on your dish. This will prevent any burning while it's in the oven. And now we're gonna take some aluminum foil and wrap our pasta al forno so that it's ready to go in the oven. We're gonna place it in the oven for 20 minutes with the tin foil on. And after that 20 minutes is up, we're gonna take off the tin foil and place it back in the oven for an extra 10 minutes. This will give your pasta al forno the right amount of crispiness on the top. Once those last 10 minutes are up, your finished pasta al forno should look a little something like this.
It's hot. Why did you do that? <laughs> At the time I realized how big of a bite I took, it was too late. Thank you guys so much for watching episode two, Cooking with Jules. That is how you make pasta al forno. Now, if you'll excuse me.